Okay, this uh, is a set of cases for an SR500. And I'm uh, rebuilding that motor from the ground up. The last time I had that motor apart was, I think, in like ooh, 79 or 80. You know, it's been a long time ago. But when I had that apart, I had put on this uh, drive film. Uh, you know, like everything now, people are using that Cerakote. I, I think it was like a pre-runner pre uh, to that. But this particular paint that went on the cases was designed to actually, you know, like normally if you paint something, it actually will increase the temperature, it raises the temperature. But this stuff is designed to actually lower the temperature more so than the bare metal. It'll pull the heat out of it. And extremely durable. <clears throat> it was called a uh, gun coat. Now, there's a product now on the market called Gun Coat, but it's not the same company. Uh, the original company, you know, they made the Gun Coat, a gear coat, which is what this transmission was completely coated with uh, the gear coat, and it, it was always a very good shifting transmission. Uh, it fills in little micro pores in the metal. Think of it almost like a Teflon coating, but it's uh, just a very thin film dry lubricant that's baked on. So like I said, they made the gun coat, the piston coat, and a gear coat. Now the piston coat was used on like uh, piston skirts, again, baked on and also on valves, uh, you know, on the valve stem. And I think I might have some of that someplace yet. I'm gonna have to look around. But the funny thing is that the company that made this stuff, you know, it, it spelled like uh, gun and then the coat is K-O-T-E. And the piston coat is like K-O-T-E. But I think, I looked, trying to find a company again one time, and it, it seems like it has changed hands a couple times. And the company now only sells to the military. But it makes me think that, you know, a lot of this stuff that they refer to as parkerizing, I think that's that same process. But I know like the gun coat was being used in naval, you know, uh, cannons. <laughs> Interesting, but I can't, uh, like I say, that company has changed hands and I can't find it. I think I might have either, I can't have either piston coat or gear coat, though I went through quite a little of that. You know, it's a very durable finish and like I say, it, it actually pulls the heat out. We don't have to do more investigating, but I know the one time I did, like it was a couple years ago, and it was only military sales now. But I noticed on the, on the transmission, you know, the gear coat that has held up all these years, so it's an interesting idea, but it's a, you know, like I say, a dry film lubricant that works on a microscopic level, but it has to be baked in, but it doesn't like flake and peel like what a Teflon will. Well, I got a lot of cleaning to do, but when I look at that stuff and then I, I look at what came on my Springfield 45, well, it looks a lot like the same stuff, you know. So I don't know, you know, like I said, I have to do some more investigating, but I'm, like I said, I'm building this engine from the ground up. But it's impressive to look at 
like the transmission gears and stuff after all these years they have held up really well of course you know they kind of overbuild but even like I say the finish on the cases you know there's a little wear right here but I think that's from me moving it around on the bench <laughs> but this stuff is just flawless but I remember I had to paint that on and then bake it. You know, I glass beaded the cases first to get a, a textured surface to them. And I, I don't have to do it again. I mean, the stuff is just perfect. But I wonder if uh, everything that's being Cerakoted now, if that wasn't where that came from. But that was back in, like, 1980 around in that time period. But I got a lot of work to do to get these cases cleaned up and replace all the bearings. And But I, I think this is the same company that made uh, a CalGuard chain lube that I used to like that you can't find anymore. It was a molybdenum graphite infused uh, chain lube that was just super good, uh, really clung on there. But I think, like I say, I think that was the same company, and I think they just, uh, you know, I guess you know if you can if you can get in doing, you know, military sales, that's probably where the money is. Get big contracts going. Interesting stuff, though. I'm I'm impressed with how that is held up. So that train will go right back in after a hell of a lot of cleaning. But it's unfortunate when stuff like that, you know, like I say, I really like that stuff. And you could buy it in like a half pint can. And I had a can of each of that, you know, I I, I think I used up. Well, probably the gear coat and the gun coat. But I might have some of that piston coat yet. I have to search. But, uh, you know, I was looking online thinking, oh, I'd like to buy some more of that. But even now, the, uh, the stuff that goes by the name of gun coat, and they do have a version of the piston coat, but it's like 100 bucks a a half pint now. Well, that's getting a little out of hand. I should have stocked up on that. You know, that's the if you find something you like, you really you really got stuck up on it because they will quit making it. Or the government will get a monopoly on it. <laughs> 